But you also have to have a bold vision. I heard the word vision up here a couple of times. Munich Health's vision for the next year. Communicating a bold vision is also a quality of the world's most inspiring leaders. But understand something, for a vision, if you add a date to it, this is, now this gets back to communication theory. If you add a date to a vision, it's more likely that it'll happen. But think deeply about what a vision is. Steve Jobs, for example, his vision was not to build a computer. His vision was to put that computer that Steve Wozniak was working on, that tool to unleash creativity, into the hands of everyday people. So that was the vision, to put a computer in the hands of everyday people, to take it out of the hobbyist market. So let's Think about that, that was the vision in 1976. Fast forward to 1979, what happens? Steve Jobs visits the Xerox research facility in Palo Alto, California. And there, for the first time, he sees a graphical user interface being tested. So scientists were interacting on computers, on computer screens with colorful icons on the screen. They were using something called a mouse. And Steve Jobs said to himself, oh, that technology will help me fulfill my vision of putting a computer in the hands of everyday people. There's something to this. I've talked to scientists who study innovation. Two people can see the same thing and interpret it differently based on their vision. In fact, Steve Jobs once said that Xerox, which, which was making the, um, the GUI and the mouse, Xerox could have dominated the entire industry but did not, his quote, because its vision was limited to making another copy machine. So people who study innovation tell, tell me they're not surprised by that because two people can see the same thing and interpret it differently. So vision is important. A vision sets forces in motion.